Welcome to Ride of the Arcanauts, quarterly reporting edition. Broadcasting from somewhere in the wilds of Arizona. To sum up Q3 to present in two words, massive progress. On every front, critical for the company's growth, we've advanced. The planning and build out of our mass production facility, our plans for the future of rideshare, including the first ever demonstration of a driverless Arkimoto, the further expansion of our product family with the launch of the Roadster and first demonstration of the flatbed, as well as the onroading of our first true micromobility prototype based on technology we acquired at the beginning of the year, the expansion of our open market regions with the acceptance of orders from Nevada with Arizona and Hawaii targeted next, and the launch of the Ride of the Arcanauts, our ultra-efficient roadshow plan to substantially expand awareness of Arkimoto and the unique experience of our rides nationwide. And despite supply chain issues outlined in our stakeholder update at the beginning of Q4, we sold a record number of vehicles to customers from our current limited production facility. The push to volume production continues to be our most important overarching objective. And in the third quarter, we made significant progress towards that goal. We took possession of our new ramp facility and began landing new production equipment, including our new automated plastics production cell, as well as began the renovation of the facility that will become General Assembly. We plan to pause vehicle production for a portion of Q1 in order to move materials, quality, sub-assembly, and the assembly line into the new facility, after which we expect to achieve substantially higher unit output for the remainder of next year. We've also made substantial headway on all of the design, engineering, and planning efforts to move each system of the vehicle to a mass producible state. This work, in tandem with what we continue to learn about the developing next generation transportation market, provides the foundation of our application to the U.S. Department of Energy for an ATVM loan, the final draft application for which we intend to submit before the end of the year. Now note about that ATVM loan, we also did a lot of work over the course of the last year working to make changes in the authorization of the ATVM program with our partners in Congress. And we're very pleased to report that the, the infrastructure bill that President Biden signed today contains a really important modification that we believe, in tandem with the market research that we have done, will really bolster our application for that program. Arkimoto's pace of innovation continues to accelerate as we focus not just on the vehicle itself, but really key technology upgrades throughout the vehicle architecture, including the battery system, the drivetrain, and the low voltage electronics and communications. Our innovation pathway is not strictly limited to improving cost and performance. We see right-sized, better utilized EVs as a critical pillar in our mission to accelerate the shift to sustainable transportation. Given that the vast majority of rides today in the U.S. have only one or two people traveling a short distance with a small amount of stuff, we think that this lightweight, ultra-efficient platform is really the right win for a huge range of shared mobility trips. As we look ahead to much higher levels of stepped-up production starting at the end of next year, we launched the Ride of the Arcanauts, a program that we're essentially beta testing today, which is we think a radically more efficient way of doing vehicle road shows. The typical way, and we've done this for more than a decade, you truck vehicles thousands of miles, people fly in, stay at hotels, and then everybody boogies back home. The way the Rise of the Arcanauts work is it's a slow moving set of convoys of vehicles demonstrating the unique Arkimoto ride everywhere. We're aiming for every major population center in the United States, we wanna cover basically the whole country over the course of next year and make sure that all of everyone out there who is, has had a curiosity about the Arkimoto ride experience gets a chance to get in the driver's seat. We think this is ultimately gonna be a much more efficient way of connecting with customers, connecting with investors, connecting with stakeholders, connecting with partners, because there's just no substitute for getting behind the handlebars. So as we've been out on the ride, and this is actually true wherever we go, one thing that happens constantly is that people will stop us on the street and say, that looks like fun, where can I rent that? And that's just given us a lot of time to think about rental as really the default model for enjoying the Arkimoto, whether you're talking about kind of the niche 
high-priced vacation destination rental that is particularly appropriate when we're building at low volume uh, to the rental company-owned rental stores that we have in Eugene and San Diego that enjoyed their first full quarter of operations in Q3. Our partnerships with Go Kart Tours in San Francisco uh, to our first franchise in Key West and all the way to shared mobility programs like what we launched with Reef Drive just very recently, where Arcimotos are available by the minute, by the hour, conveniently located. First instance of that is in downtown Santa Monica, all the way to our long-term plans of the Robo Valet, where you hit a button on your phone and the vehicle that you want, whether it's a flatbed, a deliverator, or a fun utility vehicle shows up so that you can jump in, take it where you wanna go, do your trip. There is no other vehicle platform that we are aware of that combines the amount of flexibility for different uses, that makes a perfect grocery getter, as well as the ideal vehicle for experiencing the beauties of the natural world. As we look forward, that rental focused model is gonna become, we think, a greater and greater part of the Arkhamoda story. And then finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about Platform 2, which is our entry into true micromobility. Um, we are building a new vehicle the world has never seen. And what I think we haven't really talked about much is that at the heart of that new vehicle is what we call Micro Future Drive, which is a combined drivetrain system for micro mobility devices. And we, we see application not just in our, in our first product for Platform 2, but really a whole range of micro mobility solutions targeted at that whole next level of efficiency. The, uh, the electric bicycle market has grown by absolute leaps and bounds. Um, it's, it's, it's enjoyed explosive growth over the last couple of years. And we think we have a set of products and technologies that are gonna be fantastic players in that space. We're all looking forward to getting back to base, taking everything that we've learned on this ride formulating the plans for next year when we're going to scale it up uh, and really bring the Arkimoto experience to you.